So, you finally finished your masterpiece in Photoshop, but you don't know how to save it. That's why I'm here! Today you'll learn exactly how to export your projects. First, there's a huge difference between saving your project and exporting it. Saving the project actually means you're saving the project file of Photoshop. That way you can open it up again and continue working. Now, to do that, go to File and then Save As. Now you can choose a location you want to save your project. Now again, when you open up that saved file, it will launch Photoshop again. Oh, and by the way, if you see this little star icon, this means your project is unsaved. Simply hit Ctrl plus S to save it and there you go. But now, how do you export your masterpiece as an image? Let me show you. First go to File and then find Export. Here you can see a bunch of export types, but we're gonna focus on Export S. Once you clicked it, the save window will pop up. This right here is the preview window. You can zoom in and out at the bottom controls. Now on the top right, you can choose your picture format. If you're saving a profile picture or something, JPEG will be perfectly fine. But when you have a transparent logo like this, don't use JPEG, otherwise the transparent parts will be filled in with a white color. Now, what if you want to keep the transparency? Then you need to set the file format to PNG. You can also disable transparency if needed. It's that simple. Now, when you're exporting a JPEG, you can adjust the quality here using the slider. This will reduce the file size. The image size can be adjusted as well. Let's say we want to turn it into a 1080p image. Then simply type in 1920 by 1080 pixels. Adjusting the canvas size can be done by changing the same controls as the image size. This will crop your image, by the way. So in most cases, you want to leave it as it is. And now you can save your image however you like. Next up, I want to show you how to save your image without losing any quality and keeping your layers intact. To do that, you want to save it as a TIFF file. This is a lossless file type. Now to do that, go to the file menu on top and then choose Save As. In this window, you can again simply save your project file, but you can also choose to save it as a TIFF file. Simply give it a name and there you go. Now, this is just an exported image just like JPEG, but this one has a lot more information stored inside. Let me demonstrate. You can drag your image or TIFF file back into Photoshop, and as you can see, it remembers all the layers in the layer panel. That is amazing. So, now you know exactly how to export your images, but to learn everything about layers, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.